again, boys and girls of YouTube. So, we're doing things a little backwards this week. Um, I've already done what I'm going to do, and it's already been filmed. Uh, but I didn't make an introduction to start with, so here we are. This week, um, it's my birthday. Technically, as I'm talking to you right now, my birthday was two days ago. Um, but for my birthday, we went to Indiana to a handful of car museums. And that is what today's film is going to be about, is showing you guys everything that's at these car museums. Um, the first one we're going to go to here is called the Ford Early V8. Ah. The Ford Early V8 Foundation Museum. So, it is centered around early, um, like mid 30s to like very, very early 40s flathead V8s and the cars they came in stock. A um, lot of neat stuff here. Um, this video is not going to be a lot of talking. It's going to be a lot of just showing you guys all this cool shit that we've seen. I tried to zoom in on some of the uh the signage around so you could see it and it is just it was a fun place to go look at things lots of cool cars to see um i'm going to just be a hundred percent nothing i filmed this weekend is going to do any of it justice if you're anywhere around the auburn indiana area i highly advise to go to these places they were all very cool but yeah all right let's go to the first one
like I said, tons of cool cars at that place. Um, now the next two, I did not take nearly enough time in the first one, and the second one was cool. Uh, this is the National Auburn Cord and Duesenberg Museum in Auburn, Ohio, or Auburn, Indiana. And the National Auto Truck and Toy Car Museum. It's called Natmus. Um, and these two buildings are side by side. Uh, they are very cool. They are in the location of the old Cord an Auburn dealership as well as the old cord manufacturing buildings the two remaining buildings that are on the property are where these museums are and uh, they are very cool that being said I know without a doubt 100% I'm not doing either one of these museums justice for what's in them um, and we realistically like I said we didn't take enough time while we were in the Auburn Museum um, there was a lot in there to read, but we had four of them we wanted to go to, and we basically needed to be done by 5 o'clock because they all closed at 5. So, um, we were on a bit of a time crunch. So, we walked through, we, look at, we looked at all the cars, a lot of beautiful cars, and um, we, uh, we tried to limit ourselves to about an hour, an, or an hour to an hour and a half, at each one um, so that I didn't tell you the Ford dealership one cost us $25 to get into that actually does not buy you a day pass that buys you a membership so you can go back at any time and that's $25 a day pass to get in for our whole family was only 26 so it made sense to just go ahead and be a member um, the Cord Auburn Duesenberg Museum and the National Auto and Truck Museum are on the same property and if you do it right you can buy a day pass Ugh. you can buy a day pass for them for 50 bucks for a whole family and that will get you into both buildings everywhere you want to go 50 bucks so not bad uh, not bad money spent and uh, there's a lot of good places to eat around Auburn too the dude at the National uh, Car and Truck Museum I asked him I was like hey what's some good places to eat around here and he's like, oh, buddy, do I got you covered. He actually has a flyer that he keeps in-house in with all of the good places to eat in Auburn, Ohio, or nearby. So uh, definitely make sure you stop and talk to him. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I want to say his name is Mike. That don't sound right, though. I don't think, it was, I don't think that's right. Either way, he was a real cool guy. Um, so, yeah. All right. Shutting up. Go look at these cars.
So, there we go. Lots of cool cars in that, uh, in the big museum. That Auburn Duesenberg Museum is three floors, and it is packed full of cars. Um, the National Car and Truck Museum's got a lot of stuff in it. I did not film anything of the truck area, which I didn't realize I wasn't doing until it was kind of too late, and I didn't want to go back through it all again. And we kind of hit a point where we'd spent more time there than we'd originally planned. Well, we'd spent more time at the Auburn Museum than we had National Car and Truck, which kind of ate into our time in general. And uh, so I kind of missed... There's, there's a lot of cool trucks in the basement of that place. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't do that place justice. That being said, this last place, this is the i believe it's called the national monster truck hall of fame museum in butler indiana which is only about 20 minutes away from these other three 100 percent not going to lie probably my favorite museum of the day of the four um it there wasn't a lot in it but there's a lot of memorabilia a lot of fiberglass hanging on the walls from trucks that have wrecked and just all sorts of cool stuff everywhere around that building even though it's not a big building and they had a i would say a fair number of monster trucks in a building of its size and they even hold monster truck events there so it was very cool um it to get in it's actually free to get into the monster truck museum um they accept donations so we gave a little donation and even the gift shop nothing has a price tag per se everything has a minimum donation tag um so that that was cool because a hundred percent of everything they make goes directly back into the museum they don't keep any money for themselves the guy that was there um running the show for the day says he volunteers 30 hours a week there pretty much he's the guy that has it open and closed and I had tons of knowledge, was awesome to talk to, and um, it was just, he made, he made that an even more enjoyable experience than just being there, because there was not a truck setting in that museum he couldn't give you a story about. Uh, it was, so it, it was cool, and every truck that's there isn't theirs they don't own anything in the museum well i think he said they own one of the trucks but uh that's because it was just donated because i believe he said the driver of it just passed away and the family donated it to the museum so i can't remember exactly um and i can't think of which truck it was right off the top of my head it's been a bit of a wild few days uh but every truck in there are still active monster trucks they don't just sit there and rot away in the museum. They cycle through. The owners will come back, pick them up, go do some shows with them, and bring them back. So it is uh, very cool because... And it's probably the most interactive of the museums because he straight tells you, you, you can walk underneath them, you can touch them, you can feel them, just don't climb on top of them. Uh, you can sit inside the wheels and tires, take pictures, set your kids up on the tire, take a picture, you know... You can do all that stuff, just don't climb up onto or into the physical tracks. So, and then they had like a little kids play area and they got like a spot out back to run RC trucks. It's just, it's just a very cool spot. So, uh, yeah, I can't say enough about it. Uh, so again, if you're over by Butler, Indiana, look the place up. It is freaking awesome. Let's go see it.
So, there we go. That was number four. And like I said, that museum was awesome. I don't think I could have filmed enough or shown enough in there to make that place... Well, to do that place justice. I, I definitely couldn't in the Duesenberg Museum. Absolutely could not in that Monstruck Museum. That place was amazing. So, but with that being said... Um, we got some other things we're going to do this weekend off camera or that we did do off camera because it just wasn't worth, after all that stuff wasn't worth showing you the stuff. There was a little local car show I went to and stuff. Um, some cars you guys have seen before. So, yeah. But I think that is it for this weekend. Now I am going to try to hop back in this garage and get some more done on the MG to show you guys because I need to get to work on that. So... <laughs> Hopefully that'll be one of the next videos, which I think I've said like the last four videos now. Um, one of these times I won't be a liar and it will be the next video. So, so until then, you guys have a good weekend, good week. Enjoy yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.